A church on Cleveland's east side with a history of charitable work outside its own four walls is instead looking inside to help one of its own. Charity and compassion being shown for a devoted member of that congregation. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has the story. For the parishioners of Blessed Hope Missionary Baptist, faith alone isn't enough. Only through both faith and works is what it truly means to believe. We don't brag about because we don't need nobody to know but God. We just do it. For as long as Pastor Johnny Twyman has led the flock, Angie Talley has been a part of it. That's all I would know how to do is pray. She joined the church when she was four. And she has five children. And if you stay just long enough, her 11-year-old, Tiana, will excitedly but it's enough space for me and my sister. give you the tour. Yeah. And who could blame her? It has been a long two years. I was kind of getting to my lowest point where I just kept thinking like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I felt like I wasn't being a great mom to my kids because they were stuck in this room. So excuse me. <laughs> but um, yeah. I just felt really bad. Tally started searching for a new home after her landlord sold her old one. Then came the pandemic. Week after week, month after month, the single mom and her five kids were homeless. They spent much of the time in a cramped hotel room. My strength came from them as well because to wake up and see them smile, laugh, play, when they could be angry, bitter, and you know, just to me, my kids are wonderful. Charity stars at home. It spreads abroad. If you got somebody in your church, then you ought to be willing to help them. For Pastor Twyman, it was a moment of salient clarity. The church has always been philanthropic, fundraisers for issues abroad and here at home. His congregation has the faith, and it was time. It was kind of a surprise. Um, I was thrown off. To put it to work for Angie. Everything we do, this family has been there to help. They even worked with the fundraiser for the homeless and while they was homeless, you know. Blessed Hope Missionary Baptist raised money in every way imaginable until it had enough. And on Friday, I just broke out in tears. Family finally had a home to call their own. It's cool. I love the fact that we have a house now. It's kind of been hard living in a hotel, going to school. It was so heartfelt. And I just, I was like, wow. People actually really cared as much about me and my children. As if the home itself wasn't enough, the men of the church have also pledged to make repairs and updates as needed. I'm very proud of the congregation and also I'm grateful to God because God hadn't inspired them, we wouldn't be able to do this. Faith alone isn't enough. Only through both faith and works can you truly make a difference. It feels good, you know, to, uh, just to know that we were able to help somebody. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Well, golly, <laughs> a beautiful day in more ways than one, right? Wow. Uh, despite all the challenges of the last two years, Angie's two oldest children both graduated high school, too.